Hey guys, Sports Gaming Fever here, back again playing some more Phoenix Coyotes. Phoenix Coyotes, there we go. Phoenix Coyotes, uh, be a GM mode here on NHL 13. In the last month of NHL 13, actually, as the recording date for this video is sept uh, is October. Or, uh, I'm really screwing up. August 10th. <laughs> uh, how's that for an intro? I will. Act I actually do have season tickets, so I will be getting it early, but you know. Um, last official month. Anyway, we're going to go right into the regular season and start simming. That's right. So, uh, hopefully it'll be a good season. I don't know how far I'm going to get into this. I'm hoping, like, uh, this is the start of the second season. So, maybe the third or, well, we'll get through three or four seasons. <clears throat> maybe more, actually. Probably more. We actually might get through this, because I'm been recording at least a video or two a day so uh so <clears throat> we have let's say uh 28 days left um you know we're gonna we're, we're gonna get through a chunk of this if i record like two videos each day or a bunch of videos each day so um, yeah, guys. So we win the first game. I didn't see the score of that, but Horton did good. Vermet got an assist, apparently. <sighs> There's a 7 to 4 win. Nice. So we're looking good. Don't want to jinx anything two games in, but you know. No, oh, there's a 3-2 one. Nice. <laughs> there's another 3-2 one. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about the team I built. <laughs> With the, uh, obviously, the suggestions of others as well. <clears throat> Of course, Buffalo gives us our first loss. Team like Buffalo, Jesus. No offense to any Buffalo fans out there, but ah, uh, <laughs> here we go. We got the Habs next. Beat the Habs. Oh no, we lose at the same score. All right, back home in Dallas now. <laughs> oh and seven, Jesus. Feel bad for Ben and Erickson stuck in that. And we lose to them, really. In overtime, but still, like, we give them a reverse win. We're within our division, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I should probably check this moment. Um, 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 say, say, I have my live, live streaming on each other quite frequently on Twitch. Definitely follow me. Um, Sports Gaming Fever is my username there. There should be a link in the description. And follow me on Twitter. I'll tweet a bunch whenever I upload a video or whenever I uh, I go live on Twitch. Um, definitely follow me on Twitter. Also, just to, if you want to talk hockey with me, tweet me and stuff. It'd be cool. Anyway, 4-2-1 coming up on uh, Chicago here. Who is not looking good at all. What happened to them? Nice three one win right there. It's good to see over there on the right as far as leadership and um in within like stats and stuff that it's good to see that we're uh pretty well rounded. Spreading the wealth. Still like to dish down, that would still be nice. Um, and then maybe sign Yager or get another winger of around, like a third line winger. It'd still be good. I'd enjoy that. But I think we're going to need to wait for an offer on Doan because no one wants him because of that stupid cap hit that he has. 5.6 million. 
And we get run away. It would take like a big deal. Like he'd have to be like thrown into a deal in order to make it go through. Unfortunately, but and even then they probably won't accept the deal. Alright, six three and two. So we're a bit we're becoming a bit more modest now. We're really like six and five basically. Dallas Oh wow, they're on a winning streak. We started that for them. Great. At least we beat them there. There's the Oilers. Beat them too. <clears throat> Alright, so we went, we let uh, Smith go a month, so I hit the uh, stop simulation button. So hopefully it stops simming too, and I'd like to give Labrera a shot. Alright, so we have three games here. Um, yeah, we'll give Labrera a shot. So let's go to uh, coaching options, let's edit the lines. And, uh,. Put Labrera, La Barbera, La Barbara, La Barbara. Okay, we'll put La Barbara in for a little while, a couple games here. And, um, I mean, I don't know how many games, so but we one, two, three, four, five. So how about right before we uh, hit San Jose again? So we got some actually big conference games here, and we're putting in our backup, which is unfortunate. Probably a bad time to do that, but uh, you got to win, so you know. And if he's doing good, I mean, I'll put him in instead of Smith. This is just like his trial run. He gets like five. He gets six games. All right, so we lost one there. It was OT, so I'll give him the benefit. I, no, no, it wasn't OT. My bad. It was just a regular old loss. There's a win. Get our third phone. Should out, actually. So, I mean, he's giving up way less goals um, than actually Smith has been. If you look back at the rec uh, the uh, scores of the game. So, Rumbland up there with 11 assists. All right. Lost there, but see, he only gave up three goals, so. So you see all he does against Carolina, who's 10 2 and 1. So they're looking good, at least at the moment. That could always change. Alright, so that's the win. I'm pretty sure that's a 3 to 5, so. And let's see how he does against the Rangers. <clears throat> and lost four to three. So he, I'm pretty sure, he just won like every other game. Win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Yeah. Um. So 500 average. Oh wow! And I took freaking Smith off after a four-game winning streak. That was not smart. Okay, well, we gave Libera a chance. Uh, Smith was obviously better in his, like, you know, just those four games. In his six, he went four and two. The six before, uh, he went two losses, and then he got four wins in a row. And then Libera was kind of all over the map. But as far as wins and losses go, as far as goals against goes, it was actually pretty, pretty good. So he gave up three max, or four max, sorry. Mostly like three max. It was just that last game that was four. But I'm going to switch them out again. I think it just is the, it's the right thing to do. In a way. Alright. So we got... 
Oh, wow. Let's like sim this entire road trip. We have a huge road trip here starting in the middle of November. I think it carried us into uh, actually all the way into September, uh, into December, early December. I feel like the simming has gone a little bit faster, to be honest. Which is actually very nice to see. For you this year's draft class in general, I feel it'll be a good year for rookies. Good. The next two nothing win as Smith comes back, so he's on a five game winning streak. We got Ottawa now, who's actually looking pretty good. So now Boston coming up, my hometown team, my favorite team. And we beat them. Nice. So we're looking good thus far. Which is really nice to see. Fourteen seventy two. Okay, that's not a bad record. Horton the wins away as far as goals go. Alright, so lost there. To OV and the crew. Now we got Nashville who seems to be struggling. Yeah, five one win, nice. So I'm sorry if this commentary right now is a bit bland. Um, me just commenting on the games, but there isn't too, too much else to talk about. I'm just really excited for NHL 14. That's all I have to say. Can't wait to uh, actually play some live the life mode. Club looks actually pretty fun too, you know, and then go one nothing win in Chicago. Then we got Columbus. Who had Gabrick actually leaning in the assist column, not the uh not the goal column though. And here the end of the road trip, we have St. Louis. And that's an OT loss. So we went one. So five wins, one, uh, five wins, so five, one, two, five, two, and one on that road trip, which is actually very nice. Well, we get one home game, and it looks like we're on the road a while longer as well. All right. All right, we're going to... All right, at the beginning of this homestand, we'll swap out the goalies again. Smith deserves a game at home the way he's been playing. I guess it's more this defense as each goalie has been good. I think it's the defense. Like Each goalie's been relatively the same as far as uh, goals given up goes. So I think it's the defense that's really good. It's the defense that's really showing up there. As someone predicted very early on in the series, they said I was looking at maybe getting like a good goalie, like a like a like trading for like a high end goalie. And I was like, no man, your defense is gonna pan out. Your defense is gonna be good enough when you can just keep Smith around. So I decided I'd draft a a younger goaltender. Or the or trade for him. We have Vistin in, but it doesn't look like he's going to be too, too much. So There's a win against Calgary, which is nice to see. And we got Colorado. And we got Edmonton. 
got another little road trip here. I'm lost. All right. So let's do a scout assignment now in the OHL. After this, we'll look at goalies. Because we're set on defensemen. We don't need a draft. Any more defensemen, I don't think so. We are looking pretty good at the moment. Medic 148 um, is a subscriber, so maybe he's seeing this video. If so, there's a shout out for you. <laughs> and there's a big loss to uh, Edmonton. Lots of 10 goals scored in that game. Huh? Horton still leading the way in goals. Miel and plus minus, but Rumbland leading the way in assists for a team. Wow. Is he a rookie in this this year? Or for this season? Because I'm not 100% sure. This might be his first season. I actually want to check that out. Because I think I might be ending, as far as simming goes, the end of this road trip here. So we will see. Here we go. We got Columbus. Columbus, Columbus. Can we beat them? Nope. So we're kind of on a little bit of a skid here. On this road trip, we're uh, one and three at the moment. Can we bounce back with a win against Chicago here? Who's kind of leveled themselves out as far as their record goes. There's Taves coming up. What happened to Kane? Is Kane not on their team anymore? Did they trade away Kane? There's an OT loss. You're starting to turn around. Come on, Detroit. There's a good win against Detroit, especially because they seem to be about tied with us. So 6-3 win, nice. Rumbland up there with 12, 26. But the reason I'm wondering if it's Rumbland's rookie year is because could he be rookie of the year? He's looking at a future Norris trophy, I'm telling you that. But I'll tell you that much. But uh, I'm not 100% sure if he is a rookie this year or not. So that's something you have to wonder. Win against LA. Let's get another one here. Come on, end this road trip on a win. Nice. All right. So I'm just going to quickly look at the uh, player stats. So stats central. Well, let's look at the team standings first. So the, we're number four in the NHL. Look, who would have thought these four teams would be leading the NHL? These five teams, these six teams, seven teams, these seven teams. Who would have thought these seven teams would be leading the NHL? The hell? The realism in this game is awful. <laughs> Just this aspect anyway. Um, so we're leading the West. Wow. So a point ahead of Edmonton and a couple of in front of... So Edmonton's really the main threat there in the West. East Carolina holds themselves in there. All right, let's at least just look at our division. All right, so uh, we got... L.A. is kind of a threat, but not too bad at the moment. Then Dallas, way at the bottom there. Point percentage, goals four. Yeah, power, power, power. 
Which is actually really good, really good. Keep the power button percent, percent is 15, 15 percent, percent, nice. Power play goals against. So we've only given up 15 goals in the PK. We've scored more power play goals than we've gave and given up. That is huge. We're better home than away, obviously. We've had a lot of road trips, so we're looking at a lot of home games coming up, which is very good. Now let's just look at our uh, player stats really quick. And uh, wrap this video up as we've reached the 20-minute, uh, 38 second mark. Um, I just want to compare position by position really quick. So Miele, um, you know, he's scoring goals as well as assists. So he's the assist master. That's what I want. And he's only taking two minimum minutes. Look at that plus minus. Five power play goals. So he's even shipping in on the power play a lot. Just good to see Vermet. You know, he's standing in there as a second line uh, defenseman. And he's, uh, he's looking good. I mean, he wasn't supposed to really produce too, too much offensively. So he's good there on the second line. We got Johansson on the third line still producing, which is good to see. All right. Let's look at left wingers. We got Kane on that left wing for us. Um, he's looking nice. We'll compare him to Verbata here for 24 points. All right. And then um, Horton looking good there. 12 goals. Kane. All right. And then let's look at defense. Runland, 26 points, 22 assists, 4 goals, 2. Ekman Larson with 7 goals. I don't see that too often. Gormley even chipping in there. Look at that plus minus for McCallick. Well, he's on the PK a lot, too. So that is all good to see. I'm just going to check out Runland really quickly. I want to see if this is indeed his first year. I forget if we played him or not last year. No. No, he's actually... No, no, that's Summers. That's Gormley. So this is Gormley's first year. Rumbleland. Okay, so he did play 30 games last year in the NHL, so... Um... So I think that was technically his rookie year, because I'm pretty sure it's like 25 games you get, so... Unfortunately, he will not be rookie of the year this year, but... That's okay. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you guys next time.